New York Apartment Essentials video. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to do a New York Apartment Essentials video to show you guys what I think are some essential pieces that you should have in your New York Studio apartment because you're tight on space. You wanna make the most of your space and use it the most efficiently. So let's go check out some items. So the first item I want to show you guys is this Lavoit air purifier. It's the Vista 200 and it's really lightweight and it's perfect for a small apartment because it's compact and it basically filters the air because somehow I feel like air or I feel like smells and odors and things just come into the apartment through the hallway. I don't know why I never had this problem in California, but I feel like there's always smells, smoke smells, there's dust in here. We never open up our windows. So I think it helps to have an air purifier to make sure that your air is pure. And I actually tested this and I feel like I, there are definitely smells in the kitchen, in the, in the hallway that were pretty much eradicated once I started using this. And I feel like it helps me sleep easier because I know that the pollen, the dust, the bacteria are being sucked up and taken care of by this air purifier. So what I like about this is that you can turn it on. There's three different fan features as well as a silent mode or a night mode so that when you turn it on, even though it's running, there's no sound and it doesn't bother you when you sleep. You can also turn on and off the light and you also have timers so that you can set it for two, four, or eight hour increments. I definitely think it's worth investing in an air purifier. So I know I've talked about this in several videos, but having a humidifier is essential in the New York winters and even during the summertime. New York winters are brutal and they're very cold and dry. And the radiator turns on by itself. You have no control over that. So I think it's good to have a humidifier to keep the air around you while you're sleeping moist. That way you don't feel you don't wake up with dry skin or even to prevent getting sick. I think keeping your nasal passages in your throat moist to make sure that they don't dry out is very important as well. So this is just my Lavoie humidifier and I think it's great because it has not only warm mist but also cool mist so you can use it during the summer and the winter. It has auto features where it can detect how much moisture is in the air or you can set it to a certain preference that you want. And there's three mist options, low mist, medium mist, and high mist. So a great portable way to keep the air moist. So another great item to have is a vacuum, but not just any vacuum, a compact vacuum, sort of like this one. You don't have to get this one because the battery is not that great, but I think something that you can hold, you can store easily, and that you can just go around and suck up some little small items. You don't need a very big vacuum, and this one's cordless, which is great too because there may not be plugs around. So just being able to have a compact small vacuum to get all the nooks and crannies in your small apartment is perfect. I also mentioned this in my New York apartment tour video, but having a bed that has drawers underneath are perfect if you don't have enough space for an extra, an extra dresser. So I like this bed from Ikea. Basically any multifunctional bed is good, where you can actually pull out the drawers and you can store things inside of the bed, that way you don't need an extra dresser. The last item in the bedroom is this portable closet from Amazon. It's pretty inexpensive and most New York apartments only have one or two closets, so I had one closet and so he needed his own closet. This is great because you can build it, it looks decent, and you can store a good amount of items. So we obviously can store his shirts and other pants and, and things on this left panel, and you can also store stuff on top. So it acts as a second closet that you can break down easily and move around. Again, if you have limited space, or even if you're one person but you need multiple closets, you can use this as an additional closet. Now we're in the kitchen, and I feel like New York apartments have small kitchens, so you gotta make the most of your space. One thing is a drying rack that fits inside of your sink. As you can tell, we don't have very much counter space, so I like this because it basically has these handles that sit on top of your sink in order to dry your dishes without taking up counter space, and it doesn't touch the bottom of the sink. So I think this is a really great option for those of you that don't have a lot of counter space, but you obviously still need to dry your dishes. The next kitchen essential is what I call a butcher block, and it essentially acts as extra counter space since, as I said before, we don't have very much. Not only is it extra counter space though, it also has hooks that you can use to hang pots and pans, and it has extra shelving because we don't have very much storage space either. So I think this is a really great addition, and since you have a little bit of space, you can chop things on here, you can set things on here. As you can tell, we have some items here, as well as kitchenware. So now we're in the living room area, and because New York apartments are small, you want to have things that are multifunctional. This futon is a great example because not only is it a couch that you can sit on, but if we ever have guests coming over, you can convert it into a bed, and that way people can sleep in the living room 
but when they aren't here, you can convert it back into a couch. So I think this is a great option, a futon. It doesn't have to be this one, it can be any futon, but something where it can be used for both sitting and sleeping. Next, because I don't have my own desk, Hui has his own desk because he works from home, but I don't have mine. And so I used to just sit on the couch and work on my lap, but we got this lap desk. So this basically acts as my own little desk and I just sit here and work when I'm editing. I can quickly do things, I can put things on here. I mean, there's not that much space, but there's enough for at least a few items and my laptop, which is the most important. So I think this is a great option because not everyone has enough space for two desks or if one person needs to use the desk, then one person can use this instead. And it also has pockets which are good for storing more items. So those are all my essentials for a New Yorker Studio apartment. I'll link all the products or similar products below in the description box. If you have any questions as usual, please comment below and let me know if there's any items that you think would be great for a studio apartment, especially somewhere where you don't have very much space or your furniture needs to serve multiple functions. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.